All right, so obviously Mars needs to be set behind these jagged outcroppings, which is why in this movie, we're going to select this mountainous region using the quick selection tool, which allows you to brush in selection outlines here inside Photoshop. I'll go ahead and switch over to my image in progress with Mars sitting right here in the middle of it. And I'll turn off the Mars layer for now, just so I can better see what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna convert this flat background into an independent layer by double clicking on it to bring up the new layer dialog box. And I'll just go ahead and call this guy landscape and click okay. Now we wanna mask away the sky. And the easiest way to do that is to select this fourth tool down, which is the quick selection tool. If you're not seeing it, Go ahead and click and hold on that tool and select the quick selection tool from the flyout menu. Now we want to make our cursor an awful lot bigger. By default, it's set to 30 pixels, as you can see up here. You can click on that little down pointing arrowhead and dial in a different value, such as, let's say, 100 pixels. Or you can also change the size of the cursor on the fly by pressing the square bracket keys that are next to the P as in Paul key on an American keyboard. So pressing the right bracket key makes the cursor bigger. Pressing the left bracket key makes it smaller. Now to select these outcroppings, all you need to do is brush generally inside them. You don't need to get close to the edge, or at least not that close. And that's because what Photoshop is doing, and I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see, it's finding what it considers to be edges. And an edge, by the way, is an area of rapid luminance contrast in one or more channels. So in other words, right here, we're seeing this contrast between this bright rock and this blue sky. Here, we're seeing dark rock against blue sky and so forth. Now, notice that I didn't quite select all the way to the edge here. And incidentally, I've made a mistake. There is one thing that I forgot to tell you is that this tool has a little bit of a gotcha. If we were to accept the selection outline the way I've drawn it, then it would have some very ratty edges. And that's just a function of the way the quick selection tool works. However, you can get rid of those ratty edges, which will cause weird transitions around your selection outlines by turning on this auto enhance checkbox. And I will go so far as to say that even though it's turned off by default, there's no reason it should be off. It should always be on. Now, turning the checkbox on, as I'm doing right now, doesn't change the existing selection outline. The existing selection is still the same as it ever was. So what I have to do is press Control D or Command D on the Mac in order to deselect the image. I'm gonna press Control Zero or Command Zero on the Mac to zoom out all the way. And I'll go ahead and paint back in a selection. Notice that I'm not painting on those edges. I'm keeping my cursor inside the rocks. But even so, by the way, I'll go ahead and zoom in once again. That doesn't mean I'm gonna select everything. Now notice this animated selection outline. It's what's known as the marching ants inside Photoshop. But notice that the marching ants do not surround this edge of the mountain right there, which is a problem. And to take care of that problem, I'll go ahead and press the left bracket key a few times to reduce the size of my brush. And I want you to see that inside of that circular cursor, I have a little plus sign. And that shows me that I'm going to now add to my existing selection. And that's just a default setting. You can also see that I have this brush icon with a little plus sign that indicates that I'm going to add to the selection outline as well. And now if I just go ahead and click really right there at that location, then I will add to that edge. And notice I also missed a little detail right there. I'll go ahead and click right there to add to it. And I'll increase the size of my cursor by pressing the right bracket key. And then I'll go ahead and paint some more inside of these rocks in order to add them to the selection outline. And you basically want to paint all the way down here, if you like, in order to add more of the mountain. So the real thing that we want to do, though, is delineate the mountain from the sky. And one of the things you're going to notice about this tool is sometimes when you're using it, you'll see an edge as you're painting. And then when you release, the edge will transform. It'll change ever so slightly. Sometimes it actually changes pretty radically. So the selection outline you're seeing as you paint isn't always entirely accurate. All right, now notice that I still have this area down here at the bottom of the image that I haven't selected. I could continue to paint with this tool if I want to, or I'll just go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. I could add in the effect of a different selection tool. So in other words, you can mix and match the effects of different selection tools as much as you want. And I'm going to show you how to do exactly that in the very next movie.